I just wanted to do a quick demo of um, Smart Curl Pro. That is a WPMU dev plugin and it helps with SEO. So I'm gonna go to WPMU dev and plugins because my, oh here, I can move this. Let's move this over here. Okay, there's also um, an option towards the bottom of your admin bar called Smart Call Pro. Um, so we'll go ahead and go into the dashboard and let's take a look at some of the options here. So there's options in the main area and then there's also options in your posts and pages. So all of these like quick setup, this is the best way to just get started. You wanna set up um, automatic SEO checks and reporting, um, SEO and readability analysis. Caveat with the re readability analysis, um, if you're doing very technical um, topics like I do on occasion, um, I, went, I would take that with a grain of salt. So, um, you know, you wanna be clear and you wanna be good and you wanna keep things readable, but sometimes the grade level of the readability isn't that important. Um, site maps, you wanna make sure that you're sending site maps to all the different search engines. The robots.txt file is really important. Open graph and Twitter cards, um, also important to connect all of your social media. So we'll go ahead and click on get, get started. That will go ahead and enable all of those options. And if for whatever reason you don't want anything enabled, you can just turn off options as you go. All right, so this is our main um, dashboard. It's performing an SEO check right now. Um, it shows you the titles and meta, so it gives you kind of a rundown of your site. You can go in and configure kind of what the titles are gonna look like. So if you want it to be um, a different format, you can click on here and kind of change that up. Um, same with the open graph and with Twitter. Um, and you can go through and modify all of these for post types, taxonomies, which are categories, the archive pages, and then just the general settings, like what do you want for your divider? Do you want a period or a dash or a line? Lots of different options there. Um, character links for your meta description. Um, you can use the defaults or you can choose a custom um, length. So under social, this is where you're gonna have all of your connections to social media. So you want to go ahead and fill all of this in as much as you can um, with the different um, social media options that you have. Um, open graph is a type of connection with um, things like Facebook that puts in that nice featured image into your post when you copy in a link. Twitter cards, great to enable Twitter cards so that things come up nice and neat with an image from your post. And then Pinterest verification, you have those options right here. If you need to get started with Pinterest, um, contact me and I have other videos to help out with that. All right, sitemap um, just has some information of your sitemap, what to include with your sitemap, any exclusions and custom URLs. It'll show you the status of the crawler, make sure that nothing is reporting um, natively. You can run regular URL crawls and set up um, a general sitemap um, settings. And so we, you can auto notify search engines on Google and Bing do this, um, I would rec really recommend you do this so that it just kind of auto um, updates if you add any posts and so forth. If you're on a temporary URL right now, I would wait and do that as soon as you make uh, your site public. Under advanced tools, we have um, some options for automatic links, URL redirection. So if you need something to redirect from A to B, if a suddenly changed the URL or if it um, got deleted and you need it to redirect to another page, 
this is where you can do this. Um, a lot of times this is an additional plugin um, and Smart Crawl Pro comes with it. Moz is an SEO checker and so you can log in and get some um, updated and advanced um, settings there um, and uh, analytics and so forth. And then the robots.txt, this is an advanced option. You probably just want to leave it all a general um, default, but if you need to edit it, you have an option to edit it here. All right, so under settings, we have um, just different settings for page analysis and readability. Um, can set up different um, layouts if you have different ways that you're um, setting up content. Um, you can have a smart crawl um, shortcut that comes up on the menu bar. Plugin modules, um, and you can turn on and off different plugin modules. And then we have kind of the Google verification and Bing verification options and um, the meta tag and links tag and enforce um, character limits. So you can turn on and off those options. All right. And then you have options to um, set up the um, user roles. So if you have authors or so forth, you can set it up to be only site admin or um, if you want editors to have access to it, just different options there. Different options to import and export your settings. Um, if you have Yoast, there's a quick import from Yoast or All-in-One SEO that will import all of your settings and get you started in Smart Crawl. Um, information, if you want to do a factory reset or if you want to uninstall it, what um, it will do if it will reset all the data or if it will preserve it. Um, just some options there. And then lastly, accessibility options if you want the high contrast mode. All right, so once you get kind of all of your settings set up and you'll notice that I didn't really change anything, the defaults work great. We'll go over to posts. And in posts, we're gonna edit. We'll see additional um, columns here, checking for SEO and readability. And in here, here's our editor, and here is our smart call um, widget. Um, so if you click on edit meta, you can see the SEO title and the description, the SEO analysis. This is based on whatever focus keyword you give. So if my focus keyword is hello world, um, it will refresh and it will go ahead and do the analysis for um, SEO. And then it gives you all of the different suggestions that it has. So, the title is too short, the description has no keywords, the description is shorter than 135 characters, there's no images, the content is short, the keyword density is um, under 2%, there's no internal or external links, and first paragraph has no keywords. Um, I did get a couple of um, check boxes that were good um, for not much content so I'm not sure how I pass those but anyway so this is kind of your your main dashboard for all of this um, I usually don't a hundred percent make all of these true but it's a good guide to kind of um, help you get started um, the keyword density is less than two percent this for me is really difficult to do I feel like I'm keyword just adding keywords randomly everywhere if um, I actually need this. So all of these just kind of be mindful. Your content is the king. And um, if you don't exactly match all of the different options, it's not going to be the end of the world. 
So readability, readability is great because it has one sentence, two sentences, three sentences, three sentences. Wow. Social, this is specifically for social. So if you want to add a specific open graph image, um, if you want to add something specific for your Twitter um, card, you can all add that there. And then under advanced, you have um, settings for just this post of whether you want to index, mark it as follow, and so forth. Um, and yeah, so that those are your settings. Um, they're fairly easy to do. As soon as you change things here, it will change um, in the preview so that you can see how that's going to look. Um, and that should be good. So once you update, all of that will stay put and it will submit it to the sitemaps and so forth. So happy SEOing and hopefully this little tutorial was a good introduction to Smart Crawl Pro.